Hello, I'm Kirsten, one of the Fairwinds curators, and the work I've chosen is from the Fairwinds Sculpture Collection. It's a striking half-length nude in bronze called Isabel by Jacob Epstein from 1933. A young woman faces us with a very open body posture. Her pose is confidently relaxed, with elbows resting to either side of her and hands lightly crossed over her stomach. She holds herself erect. Shoulder length hair falls in thick waves behind her ears where large coiled serpent earrings drop down to meet her collarbones. Her features are strong and distinctive. Large eyes, slanted and heavy lidded, challenge us directly with curious intensity. Though her shoulders and arms are partially draped, she is bare breasted. This is a compelling image, uncompromising and unashamed, that suggests power, determination and vitality. Isabel, we sense, is a force to be reckoned with. Because of the sculpture's undeniable presence, I'm drawn to find out more. Epstein's sculpture records the very beginnings of Isabel's own artistic career, one since, since largely overshadowed by her friendships and role as muse and model to a number of influential artists, not just Bacon and Epstein, but also Duran, Balthus, Giacometti and Picasso. Born in London's East End, her background was modest, but she won a scholarship to the Royal Academy Art School. She left due to financial struggles and was invited to pose by Epstein, who offered to let her lodge with him and his wife whilst continuing her own work. In 1933, when Epstein made the Ferens bust, the 20-year-old Isabel was pregnant with his fifth child, subsequently raised by the Epsteins as their own. This perhaps begins to help contextualise the extraordinary power of this sculpture as well as its sensuality and expressive force.